Good morning, freshly out of the shower, bright day. It's time for some dark music. Let's do black metal. I'm not here trying to make fun of black metal. Um, it's, uh, I really will try to make this at the utmost best of my abilities. Uh, and I for sure don't want to have any satanic people against me. <laughs> I'll, I will try to make it sound as good as possible. What do we know about black metal? Uh, it, if I hear the term black metal, I see the corpse paint. Um, I hear like drums and I hear this very um, deep, dark, that kind of stuff uh, with keys and synths. Uh, but to be really honest, I've never been listening to black metal and I'm not really familiar with that style of music. Um, I will look into matters and find out what makes black metal black metal. Let's ask my best friend, uh, like always. Wikipedia, here we go, black metal. Whoa, there's so much. Uh, what do we got? Uh, instrumentation and song structure, vocals and lyrics. Okay, production, roots, first wave, second wave, oh my god. Stylistic divisions, ambient black metal, black doom, black and roll. What? Symphonic, psychedelic black metal, unblack metal, what the hell? Do I have this? Um, Gorgoroth. Oh my goodness. Okay, but hey, I was right about the corpse paint. At least strike one point. Ah, a common black metal convention is the use of corpse paint, black and white makeup intended to make the wearer look inhuman, corpse-like or demonic. Nah, not gonna happen. <laughs> black metal is an extreme subgenre of heavy metal music. Well, I know that. Common traits include fast tempos, yes, that's the frrrr, a shrieking vocal style, heavily distorted guitars, yes, played with tremolo picking, raw lo-fi recording, unconventional song structures, and an emphasis on atmosphere. Oh, that's the, the synth. Ooh, ah. Artists oh, often appear in corpse paint, see? and adopt oh i guess we're gonna start with the drums huh let's go do it black metal here we come <laughs> what i've programmed <laughs> oh, wasn't me ah okay what i programmed for the drum oh, shit man nope not happening right now what i programmed for the drums um for the beginning it's like this atmospheric, rather dragging, kind of slow vibe where I'm gonna add a lot of keyboard layers and maybe those choir, ooh, that kind of stuff. Um, guitar is gonna be like, and I gotta equalize it down because I don't have, I do have a Fostex four track cassette recorder, but it's not here, so I can't record via that, which would be old school black metal, but I can't do that. So I'm using my, my DAW, but I'm equalizing it down as if I would have recorded it with a cassette track recorder. Personally, I am way more of an ACDC kind of drums gal, like doom, ba, ga, doom, doom, ba. Oh, that was Aerosmith. That <laughs> but this is like, I don't know, it sounds like a heart attack. Ah, okay, guitars now, huh? Three, four. <laughs> One. Oh god, I need a click. Wait, this, this doesn't work. Let's go with a click. <laughs> wow. Really? 
my arm. How do bands play that life? I'll make it happen. Traditional black metal bands tend to favor raspy, high-pitched vocals, which include techniques such as striking, screaming, and s s snarling. A vocal style influenced by... I, I can't even pronounce it. What am I gonna sing about? Corona. I'm gonna make this the pandemic black metal song. Ow, I'm gonna... Mm. Mm? Let's uh, try to do vocals on top of that. Oh, bass, I need to record the bass. Bass, we need some bass. Oh. And if somebody would have told me that I'm gonna sing like that one day, but it sounds like. <clears throat> wow, it's not easy. <laughs> oh man, my voice. Yeah. <coughs> I have a feeling that I really need to add a lot of reverb uh, presets. Background, okay, we got afterburner, antiverb, arena, background, bright plate, mm, dark and long. How about dark and long? That's good, okay. Dark and long and make it 100%, 110% in the mix. Uh, yeah. <coughs> right. Tea. I should get some tea. There's not a lot that I can tell you about this style because I, I just don't know. Uh, I would love to have a little educational section in this video, but I, I can't, I, I don't know. From what I understand is that you have to have like a guitar played, like a mandolin, like use unconvenient uh, chord progressions that are not like connected to any normal um, mainstream scale, like major or minor. You need to have like two different sections apparently like that big dramatic massive wall sound will coming at you and then you need the other part with the brrr, the blast beat um and as well <coughs> you need tea tea is what you need okay let's listen to the song <coughs> 